And so basically, I'm going to go in here. I'll come to this side with my finger, and I want to have my other um, my my thumb on my other hand um, um, on the outside of her mouth. Because remember, when we talked about the um, if we're going to palpate that um, the medial pterygoid, and we're trying to get on that muscle belly of the medial pterygoid, it's going to be right on the other side of the um, insertion of the masseter muscles. Now, here's what I always do with a patient with TMJ, because I'm in their mouth. If for any reason, um, um, you, if for any reason you need me to get out, you know, you're, you feel uncomfortable, whatever, just raise your hand and I'll know that that's your signal for me to get out. Because otherwise, they may not be able to communicate it with me, and they may bite my hand or... <laughs> <laughs> So basically, I'm going to go in laterally and come a little bit, on, um, just just go post, basically just posterior here on this side. Um, so open up. So you okay? Mm -hmm. Come around under there. That may be a small head there. Okay. So now I'm just in there. just, you know, if you go past her molars and her most, uh, post, uh, the teeth that are in the most posterior region and keep going back, and you come to the area here of where her uh, uh, masseter is, or on the other side of the jaw, on the inside portion of the jaw, is going to be her medial pterygoid. Okay? Do, do we have them try to do any protrusion to try to see if they're... No, with this one, because their mouth's open pretty yeah. pretty wide, I'm not having them. Because really, you think their mouth's open wide, they can't really protrude from that point. Um, so the, the way that we try to um, use our references to get there is by saying, okay, this outside yeah. hand's here. Let's almost like we're just lining those two up. Cool. Okay. So let's do um, go through your observations again.